My name is Sophia, and this happened in March 12, 2019. I was hanging out with my friend Sean at a park one day, since it was his birthday. We were waiting for two of our friends, Drew and Covey, to get to the park. About 30 minutes later, they showed up, bringing some snacks. We were planning on having a picnic, and the park there was the perfect place to have one. We ate, drank a couple of bottles of soju, played some board games, and caught each other up with our lives. It was getting dark. Kovi checked her phone, and it was around 6.39 p.m., so we decided to pack our stuff and leave. As soon as we were done, we started walking to go home. You see, our houses are right beside one another, and we've known each other since we were all kids. Putting that aside, we were now walking on a dimly lit road with a couple of houses here and there. I saw a woman dressed in white with black medium length hair. The weird part is, I could tell she was low key bruised, even in the distance, and had a hunched back. I told my friends about the strange woman. Maybe she needs help? Sean said, unsure. Come on, it's getting late, Drew said. Yeah, I agree with Drew. It's not safe around here, Covey laughed nervously. But what if she really does need help? I said back. I turned around to see the woman still there, hunched over like she was eating something. Sean and I agreed to approach the woman while the other two, let's just say they were holding each other's hands because they were scared. As we got close to the woman, we had this uneasy feeling and we smelled something that was rotting. Sean tapped the woman and said, Miss, are you okay? Silence. The next thing I saw still scares me to this day. The woman turned around and we saw a big bloody scar on her forehead down to her chin. And the worst part is, I saw a little girl's body lying on the ground with no intestines, blood gushing out of her stomach. The woman was eating her intestines. I screamed so loud, and Sean grabbed my wrist and started running towards my other friends, shouting, Run! 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 They didn't quite get it at first, but as they saw the woman chasing us, Covey froze in shock. She couldn't move, and we had almost reached them, but she still didn't move a single step. That's when Drew grabbed her hands and started running as fast as they could, with us following and the crazy woman running to us maniacally. We got home eventually and told our parents about it. They didn't believe us at first, but a day later, Covey's parents told ours that she got this big scratch on her back. It was like something with claws or long nails scratched her. We ended up calling the police and also told them about the girl's body. They ended up finding the girl's body in a lake, but it was strange that the autopsy said that the girl just drowned. My grandma visited this week, present time, and told me a story about a woman named Maria Labo. She eats human flesh and stuff, so that's why I shared this story with all of you.